Hello and welcome to another basic introductory video for Sequence Generator Pro. Um, we, we run through some of the controls and functions in, in a real basic way for new users of the software who, like possibly I did when I first used it, were a little bit overawed by the technical side when I actually I only wanted to know what the basics were at that point. Um, this video is going to run through the equipment profiles and equipment profile manager, which seems to be one that stumps people. Even some uh, more advanced users don't quite understand why when you close down an active profile, it doesn't save. Uh, the reason for this is that Sequence Generator Pro actually runs two profiles. It runs save profiles in the equipment profile manager, and it also runs the, the current active profile, which is the profile you've got open. Um, with the active profile, unless you save it to a saved profile, then it won't save. It's volatile. Once you close the program and reopen it again, that, that information will be gone because it's not been saved. So to show you this, if we open Sequence Generator Pro, when it first opens, it opens with the current active profile, which is empty because it doesn't know what profile you want to use. And those profiles are stored within the Equipment Profile Manager. So this is where all your information gets input. Um, for example, if we have this one here, we can see what my filters are, my focuser, telescope, uh, plate solver. So that's all stored within the Equipment Profile Manager. So when you've set the Equipment Profile here, you click Save, give it the name, and then you can make up multiple profiles for all the different equipment that you've got. So these here are your saved profiles. Now what you need to do is you need to apply one of those profiles to your active profile, which is your current session. The way you do this is to go to File and Apply Profile to Sequence. Now if you've already got a sequence open and you're starting a new one, what you can do is just go to File, New Sequence with Profile, and it will open a completely new sequence and it will ask you then what profile you want. So what we're doing here is we'll apply a profile to sequence and we'll choose for this example the Canon template. So we'll apply that and you'll see it populates these fields. Now at the moment there's no camera because the last time I saved this template I saved it or this profile I saved it without a camera. But if I say well actually I am going to use the Cameron EOS camera here and I'll change that there and I go ahead and I do all my tests and so on. But I don't save this profile somewhere. It's volatile. As soon as I close the program down and reopen it again, it will come back up with no camera. Now the way I can do this is once I've done this change and I think, yes, that's fine, I'm happy with that. And I want to save that as this profile going forward. I can just go to File, Save Sequence as a Profile. This is the template that I opened up which had no camera initially. Click OK, it will ask if you want to overwrite it, yes, and that's that. When I now go to the actual saved profile, you'll see in there, there's a Canon EOS camera which it didn't have before. So if I now, for example, open a new sequence with a profile, I don't want to save this sequence, it's not one that I need, and I use the Canon template, you'll see it will populate with the Canon camera now. So I've, I've actually saved uh, the, the current active profile as a saved profile within the Equipment Profile Manager. So I hope that explains how uh, Sequence Generator profiles work in that when your current profile is open, it doesn't necessarily save it. And, and it is a good feature. It means that you're not going to save all kinds of things when you don't actually want to. You have to make an effort to save it uh, within the Equipment Profile Manager. Hope it's helped. Um, I will be doing more videos, but in the meantime, please feel free to subscribe, like, or put some comments in the boxes below. Thank you very much. Bye.